Ah, oh, James and I just bought ourselves some new gloves. We went and forgot our blue ones today. Yeah, he's just mucking about on his phone. We come out now, it's uh, ooh, four o'clock. Oh, first find of the day. USB stick and a piece of metal. <coughs> Coming in. Wait, you had all time. You had all time to do that. <laughs> Pick up all different things. <laughs> Battery. Bit old metal and a couple of bottle tops. Yep. A bit of scrap. Scrap metal. Another battery. And now. We have about an hour. We've got here at four. An hour just over, perhaps, see what we get. Yeah, it seems very muddy when this magnet lands like yeah maybe it was like something's there and it just sort of shuddered over it I don't remember it might be a part of the old bridge laying in the mud there were some big chunks weren't they it was solid yeah oh another coin <laughs> Starting off on the coins again, James. <laughs> How is that? Yeah? How is that? You give me a head start. All oh, right, you're going to catch me up, are you? You're going to pull one big thing out straight away. Make the difference, yeah. I know. <laughs> As long as it makes good video, I don't think you will. It depends on how you throw out. Oh, you wore the appropriate colour today. Well, they will be by the time you go home. <laughs> Look at that in there. Nice for fish, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> I've got a gas bottle. I'm off on the coins, James. Mm -hmm. We've done right the coins before. Yeah. That's the thing, though, James. Don't hey, we'll be covering it for a few hours. I think it's because of the mud. It stays there, you see. So if your magnet sinks in, you, you're guaranteed to get it. It's a lot quieter down here today. It's because we've come out later. You need backup. Yeah. 
What you got? Found the handle of a knife in a washer. Something across then. Spring. How you going, James? How you doing? A few bits. <laughs> So a fire extinguisher there, I've got a clip. Piece of iron. Well, he could see that um, I don't know how James is doing. I'll have to go around and check him in a minute. Magnet fishing. Yeah. 
I can grab hold of anything. We pulled out, well, I, caught, I pulled out about six or seven knives, a couple of shotguns, bullets, over a hundred bullets in one place, yeah. We go out on YouTube, I'm filming now. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. What have you got on YouTube? Four Seasons Magnet Fishing. Four Seasons Magnet Fishing. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see the guns we pulled out and the, the Rambo looking nice with all the jagged edge. Wow. <laughs> we take them up to the police. Yeah. yeah. They can do what they like with them. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them, I mean, they've been in there a while, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But obviously they're not going to do any harm. But, you know, like, with the knives, I mean, they were mean looking things. So I've got about six of them to take in, what we've collected over the last week. And you usually around here? <laughs> we do the whole stretch, like, you know, we just pick a random yeah. spot, just go in bridges mainly. People oh, like yeah. to dispose of stuff. <laughs> we pulled out, I've got a pot full of coins indoors, all sorts, euros, two pounds, one pounds. What's the most valuable thing you found? Most valuable? Uh, you set to sell it? Virtually... Well, it was a brand new bike. Brand new bike. <laughs> How the magnet? It's got a 400 kilo pull. Oh wow! Yeah, I'll, I'll pull it. I'll show you. But you can get bigger in this. He, he's only got the 200 on round the corner, James. But it grabs old. It old, <laughs> like you know. <laughs> so up there, around near where the the big gas works are, that's where we pulled out the shotgun, and I pulled out big knife this size and the following week I pulled one out in the sheath the same identical knife yeah you just don't know what you're gonna pull in like you know you just throw it in pull it out <laughs> it's a double-sided yeah so once it hits the water and you're pulling back anything's in its path yeah I'll be pulling it over <laughs> Good exercise as well. <laughs> uh, oh, you can lose track of the time sometimes. I mean, you can continuously throw because you look at the size of a magnet. Yeah. You know, you could be missing stuff yeah. many times, like you know what I mean. It's, a, it's just a case of throwing back over, just varying where you're throwing, like you know. But it's fun. <laughs> I must say, go up and down the rivers and that, up in Hertfordshire. <coughs> yeah, go out any weather. It's very busy on this path <laughs> with the runners in the week and that. You're, you're like dodging people. <laughs> the bikes and runners, oh, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, another penny. Bit mucky, but yeah. where there's muck, there's money, yeah. <laughs> as they say. <laughs> I've got over six and a half thousand subscribers oh, on the channel. What's the YouTube channel for? Four Seasons Magnet Fishing. And for the word, or what the. Four Seasons, F O U R. Okay. Four Seasons. Mm. And I've had over two, 2.6 million views oh, wow. on my videos. <laughs> Not one of the biggest, I'm a small fry, but yeah, people are looking. <laughs> but it's surprising because it's America's the main one that comes on. They do it a lot out there, so it's all it's all over like in Europe and Yeah. No, nothing that's right. Thank you so much. Okay, you're welcome. Good luck. Yeah, cheers mate. <laughs> Something on here. I wonder what.
That's old clip by the look of it. Just pennies, twos, tens. Got a couple of two pound, uh, two pounds and one pounds the other day. Hello. Euros. <laughs> Crazy people. <laughs> um, yeah, you can go on Amazon, uh, magnets online. Uh, just put in magnets on Google, and you you'll get everything up. What you want to look at, like you know. There's so much area to cover there. When you look at the size of the magnet. You know, we just vary it from day to day. We don't keep moving all day. Yeah. We just stay here and have a go with here, like, you know. I mean, yeah, three or four weeks ago, my son pulled out uh, a, magaz a magazine off a gun. No way. What, you had the bullets in? Uh, it might have been um, a semi-automatic or something like that, but it was empty. Oh, but um, but we, that just came out random, but no gun. <laughs> but, you know, he could have thrown the gun up there a bit further, like, yeah. you just don't know. But I did, I did pull out a hundred um, bullets once up in Hertfordshire oh. and they had red tips on them, they were about this size and they were um, incendiary devices, they were incendiary ones, they were live, <laughs> about a hundred of them I pulled out, <laughs> yeah. I mean why do people have to go down the river, I mean you see everything literally, the things you see in the river is unbelievable. I think why hasn't why has somebody gone out their way and thrown that down there like you know? I mean you can understand little bits and pieces falling off boats, yeah. accidents, things like that. But the amount oh, of stuff yeah, that goes yeah. in there is um, incredible, like you know. And somebody's gone out their way. Um, I've not sold anything, but I've pulled out some good bikes. Like bikes. Years ago or something like that. Something from, from like 100 years ago or something like that. No, I haven't got anything like that yet. <laughs> but, um, yeah, pulled out perfectly good condition bikes, obviously, just been stolen, used, and thrown. You know. You can just lose hours when you, you go up the river, like. <laughs> Washer. Plenty of the old wire in there. It's not good for the fish, is it? <laughs> Don't know why they have to throw it in there. It's crazy. That's just wire more like you use on a fence. Anything you can think of, pull that little USB stick there. Magazine slides into that one. That's an automatic. Oh wow, hold it up, let's get it on there. That's what it's all about, isn't it? <laughs> it's got a